thought I would just make this video because you know those days when you just sit down, your room is a mess, your brain is a mess, your emotions are a mess, and you're just thinking to yourself, you're like, my life is a mess right now. <laughs> when you just have too much to do and not enough time to do it, and all you can think is that you just need to get your shit together. I have to do that like probably once a week. So I wanted to tell you what I do when I have to get my shit together and how you can get your shit together too. Um, so I've got some few random tips. I haven't prepared anything, but I just like, it just hit me that I wanted to make this video today. Number one is to clean your room or whatever space you spend the most time in. When your room is a mess, it's really hard to get the rest of your life organized. So I recommend just taking a good hour or two to just clean your room or clean the space that you spend the most time in and instantly you will feel more like you have your shit together. Okay, so after you clean your room, normally for me when things kind of get out of control, everything is just kind of happening and I'm not being mindful and I'm not thinking about it and I'm just like rushing from here and there and whatever. Normally when that happens, I'm not like working out and eating healthy regularly. Um, sometimes I'm like eating out a lot or just like grabbing whatever and eating it. So the second thing to do, I think, would be to make a plan um, to get back on track with your exercising and healthy eating. And I think that this could definitely be a video on its own, but for these purposes, I'll just explain this quickly. So I would say if you have time, go to the grocery store, like maybe plan out some meals, make a list of things you need, go to the grocery store and get a whole bunch of like healthy vegan the staple items that you can use to make quick but also healthy meals and once you're putting healthy foods into your body then you definitely feel overall more like you've got your shit together so to go along with that obviously with exercise you don't really need to like go out and buy a bunch of stuff or anything like that but just make a plan or even like start that day and just do something active um, because yeah, a lot of times you can just like get off track with your exercising or maybe you just don't exercise regularly anyway and that kind of makes you feel like you don't have your shit together and you look at those people who like get up early and go for a run and seem like they have their shit together and you're like, huh. Going further into this, what I like to do is take my trusty purple notebook that I have like 8,500 lists in and I flip to the next clean page and I just make my lists. <laughs> so like I take one page, I write the day of the week and the date of either that day or the next day and I write down everything I have to get done or that I want to get done that day. More often than not when I write stuff down I actually get it all done and part of getting your shit together is being organized and I just find like having a big book like instead of writing a whole bunch of little to-do lists, I just have one book. Because then you can kind of go back and see if there's anything that you missed on previous days that you still need to get done. So I like that. My next piece of advice um, is to get a separate notebook or it can be the same, but I like to keep these two things separate. And this is more of a journal type notebook. So what I do in this one is I will make either like gratitude lists like I did this one I just wrote at the top things I love today because I had one of those okay I had one of those nights where um like my boyfriend was like out doing something I don't remember so I was just like home by myself all night and I just had this like overwhelming like surge out of like just gratitude and happiness and just like love for all these random things and I was like thinking about them and I was just like, oh, I love that so much. So like, for example, um, I wrote down like salt lamps because I had my salt lamp on, everything else was dark and I just had that and it was like pink and glowing and I was just like, love it. Loose, comfortable clothes, <laughs> the color gray. I don't know why, I just really love gray lately. If you wanna like instantly feel better, just start thinking about all the things that you love and just write them down, like no matter how weird they might be. So then the next thing that I do in this book, so I'll do like lists of things I like, I'll do gratitude lists, which I'm sure you know what it is. It's just like you write down a list of all the things you're grateful for. Doing all of that in this kind of book is, it doesn't exactly help you get your shit together. It's more like once you have your shit together, it's a nice thing to do to just feel more like connected and grounded and mindful. And that in turn 
helps you um, just, again, feel more control and feel less like life is just like whizzing by you and you're missing it. So I just feel like there's a lot of people who don't have their shit together because they just don't take the time to get their shit together. Another thing is getting enough sleep. I know it can be easy when, you know, things are really busy in your life and you have a lot of things to do and not enough time to do them that you kind of put sleep on the back burner. And I think pretty sure it's been proven that um, not getting enough sleep raises the level of cortisol in your body and that just causes a whole other host of problems in your body. Part of getting your shit together is just getting enough sleep or rest so that you can keep your shit together. Okay, so I hope that this was helpful. I hope I didn't offend anybody by saying the word shit. If you have any other tips for getting your life together, I kind of touched on the most basic one. But yeah, let me know if you like these kind of videos. But Maybe you guys just want to see food. I don't really know. Maybe I'm just being a poser here trying to give advice on YouTube. I have been told before that I do give good advice, so I just thought maybe I would try to have an awesome day. I love you all. You love me too. Maybe not, <laughs> but I still love you. I'll see you guys next time for some more food and some more fun. Goodbye.